All right, what's up, everybody? So we're back again today. We're going to open up some packs for you. Just want to take another moment to say, if you like our videos, like and subscribe, you know, because that's going to help us build our channel big time. So right now we're going to get into just a few uh, Dollar Tree packs that I found here. Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash. We've got four of them. Just quick opening, get through those, right? That's fine. We've got not everybody's favorite. We've got Steam Seeds, but I, I need that pack art. So it's got to happen. It adds to our collection. And then Shiny Legends. I have no problems opening Shiny Legends. I usually get pretty good pulls from them. Gordon loves the pulls. So let's get right into these packs and hopefully we have some good pulls today. All right, guys. So let's get these started here. We've got our Rebel Clash, Steam Siege, and Shiny Legends. We've got, of course, our Eevee Squad here joining us today, bringing us the good luck. We're always going to include our Pokemon when we do openings. Whether it be just a Pikachu plushie or our Eevee squad or, you know, Squirtle, Psyduck, whoever we've got on deck for the day. So, let's get into these packs here. We've got a sad looking Trubbish, a P-Dove or Pidove, and a Skuntank. And these ones actually don't come with those uh, annoying little cards that you, we were getting. Like they don't give you a code or anything like that, but yeah, they were so annoying. I totally agree. They we they had no need to be in there, right? Now let's see here. Right. Alright. Applin. Alcreme. Alcreme and Fire Energy. That. that is a rare card. I didn't realize that. Alchemy is a rare card, actually. A rare, non-holographic, so that's okay. Here we go. Certain Shield, Rebel Clash. We at least pulled one rare, non-holographic. There you go. Phantom. Galarian Farfetch. That Farfetch looks just peed off. There we go. Elena. We want to pull a full art version of Elena at some point. Here we go, Rebel Clash, last pack. Dollar Tree. Let's see what we can get. Vulpix. That's a good looking Vulpix art, actually. And a reverse holographic Vulpix. Look at that, back to back. All right, what about that? And our last card is a Pal of Sand. You know, not their biggest hits today, but we'll uh, sleeve up our reverse holographic Vulpix here in our uh, Reshiram Charizard sleeves. That guy right in there. There we go. We can join the Eevee squad. So far, our only shiny pull, well, not shiny pull, but holographic pull today, foil card, etc. So we'll get into Steam Siege XY. I did really like the XY series. Steam Siege just uh, didn't seem to provide a lot of things. There we go. Not bad. On, eh, okay. Code for all the online players. Sorry about that. There we go. One, two, three cards, I'm pretty sure, for XY. Ambipalm. We've got a Nidorino. Zwilius, Hopip, Meowth, Launcher, Shellos, two of them again. There we go. Rufflet, this will be our reverse holographic Pokemon Ranger, and then this should be our rare card here. It is, and it's non holographic Among Us. Of course. But we have another reverse holographic over here to our pot. That's okay. Eevee Squad, you protect those. And give us the best of luck on this last pack. Shining Legends, Rayquaza artwork. These are all uh, 10 additional cards in the last two packs. The Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash packs from the Dollar Tree. Eventually hope to get uh, better hits from Dollar Tree. We've had some good hits before, but just not today. 
There we go. Code card for all the online players. I'm pretty sure Shining Legends should be four cards. And if not, it's three, but I need to take the chance. I think it's four cards. So Here we go. Fighting Energy. I was correct. There we go. Go Lurk. Volcarona. Hi, Corona. Damage Mover. Ekans. Golet to go with our Golurk. Voltorb. Krokna, that's a different looking artwork for him. Scraggy, always pulling up those pants. Reverse holographic, Scraggy, there we go. And what will our rare card be today? Look at that, holographic Manfi. That's a nice card. I like that. I like the shining work on that, that's really nice. Centering on the front seems to be pretty good. Maybe off a little top to bottom, actually. But the back is dead perfect. Doesn't have any whitening, so we're happy with that. So these are the things you want to look for. Whitening on the cards. Corners. Uh, your, your artwork on the front. Make sure that there's no hatch lines or anything from the printing. So ultimately, whenever we're pulling cards out of a fresh pack, you always expect them to be at least a... You know, PSA 9, like if they're going to have some deformities to them, you're going to get lower grades. But you want to have, you want to get a PSA 9 or 10 when you're opening it from a fresh pack like this. So, there you have it, guys. Not the best of pulls today. We didn't get any uh, ultra rares or secret rares or anything like that. But we did get uh, some good cards here. Add to the bulk of everything. That's all right. All right, there we have it, guys. So uh, Eevee Squad is still sitting here protecting our cards for us. The Manfi is probably our best pull of the day. I, I like this one a lot, especially the artwork. It's just really nice. Then we got our three reverse holographic pulls, Scraggy, Pokemon Ranger, and, of course, our little Vulpix there. It's a nice amount of bulk to add to our collection. That's always good. We're hoping to get uh, you know secret rares, ultra rares, all these specialty cards, uh, the Shining cards from... Uh, bunch of decks actually so you know what we'll uh we'll hopefully get into these things soon we'll get a couple more packs uh larger packs for us to open and of course tons more dollar tree so i hope you guys are enjoying it remember to smash the like and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys next time